what is orange, can be big or small, can be cute or spooky, and is perfect for Halloween? If you guessed a pumpkin, you're right. Today, I'm going to visit a pumpkin patch to learn all about pumpkins. It's fall, my favorite time of year, when the leaves change color and it starts to get colder outside. And I think picking out pumpkins is just the best thing to do in the fall. Come join me on this amazing field trip. Here we are at a pumpkin patch. A pumpkin patch is a big open field of pumpkins found on a farm or in a garden. Pumpkins grow out of the ground and they can get really big, so they need lots of room to grow. Let's learn about how a pumpkin grows. It all starts with a pumpkin seed. When the seed is planted into the dirt in the summertime, it needs water and sunlight to grow. Then a sprout forms. A sprout is like a baby plant. The sprout grows out of the ground and keeps growing until it gets bigger and really long and twisty. This is called a vine. They say that vines creep because they grow along the ground or can even climb up walls or fences. But pumpkin vines need to stay on the ground since pumpkins are so heavy. Huge heart-shaped leaves grow off the stem of the vine. Then big pretty yellow flowers start blooming or opening on the vine. And this is where bees come in. If a bee pollinates the flower, which means that a bee brings pollen from one flower to another, a pumpkin can grow. The flowers will grow into pumpkins, tiny at first, but then they get bigger and bigger. When pumpkins first start to grow, they're green, but as they grow, many turn orange. However, some pumpkins can stay green or even turn white. Once pumpkins are big and orange or white in the fall, they are ready to be harvested or picked. October is the month when most pumpkins are harvested. The vines can be thick and sometimes pokey, so they may need to be carefully cut from the vine. Then you can cut open a pumpkin and use the seeds to grow more pumpkins. Pumpkins can be all shapes and sizes. Some pumpkins grow to be very, very, very big. In fact, there are contests where people try to grow the biggest pumpkin. Other pumpkins are so small they can fit in your hand. Some pumpkins are nice and smooth and others are bumpy. Look, I found a pumpkin that I like. It's heavy. I'm going to take this one home. I'm putting my pumpkins in a wheelbarrow to help me carry all of them. That makes it so much easier to move my pumpkins around. Now let's enjoy the pumpkin patch and pick out the perfect pumpkins. We want to get lots of them. There are so many different kinds of pumpkins here. We'll get some of all shapes, colors, and sizes. Let's go. We did it! The wheelbarrow is full. It's time to take our pumpkins home. Many people think that pumpkins are vegetables, but did you know that they're actually fruits? They are fruits because they grow from their flowers. Pumpkins are also a kind of squash. Squash are also fruits. Squash tastes a lot like pumpkins. Pumpkins can be cooked. Pumpkin is a very healthy food. Lots of people eat pumpkin in lots of different ways. 
Pumpkins can be roasted and eaten, cooked into soup, baked into pumpkin cookies, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin bread, and more. And who can forget this fall favorite? Pumpkin pie. People love to enjoy pumpkin pie around the holidays, such as Thanksgiving. Have you ever had pumpkin pie? It is so good. There's even pumpkin spice coffee, my personal favorite. When pumpkin is cooked, it is usually made with spices like cinnamon and nutmeg. Plain pumpkin doesn't have a very strong flavor, and it isn't very sweet, so many pumpkin recipes also use sugar. All the parts of a pumpkin can be eaten. Pumpkin seeds are also delicious. You can scoop them out and roast them in the oven to snack on. People aren't the only ones that like to eat pumpkins. Animals love them too. I have a squirrel in my backyard that loves to chew on pumpkins. He eats the outside of the pumpkin, then crawls inside to eat the seeds too. Pumpkins are so yummy, but there's more that you can do with pumpkins besides just eat them. They make a great fall or Halloween decoration. You probably see lots of people decorating their houses with pumpkins for Halloween when you go trick-or-treating or explore your neighborhood. A special way that people use pumpkins is to make something called a jack-o'-lantern. A jack-o'-lantern is a pumpkin that is carved with a face or a picture. To carve a pumpkin, first you will need to draw the face you want to make on your pumpkin. Then you need to cut open the top of the pumpkin and scoop out the goo inside. There are lots of seeds inside a pumpkin, about 500 seeds. The seeds are held inside the pumpkin with thick, mushy goo. You can scoop all of it out with a big spoon. Then a grown-up can carefully cut out or carve the picture. You can make your pumpkin look however you want. When you're done, you can put a light or a candle inside. Then the face or design you made glows at night. You can make a spooky face or a cute picture. Check out some of these amazing jack-o'-lanterns. People enjoy pumpkins in other ways too. Lots of communities have pumpkin festivals in the fall where you can buy pumpkins, pick pumpkins, play pumpkin games, eat pumpkin pie, and even compete in some pumpkin growing or carving contests. I'm sure you can see that pumpkins are lots of fun, whether you're using them to eat, to decorate, to carve, or to play, pumpkins are one exciting fruit. If you can't get to a pumpkin patch, don't worry. Lots of stores sell pumpkins too. You can find them all over the place in the fall. Thanks so much for coming to the pumpkin patch with me. It's my happy place. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I'm going to go home and carve some pumpkins now. What would you like to do with a pumpkin? See you next time.